Hey, what's up, guys? That's Kazoo here, and welcome to episode three of Team of the Year Fatal. And in the previous episode, I completely messed up the intro, but uh, hopefully, you guys kind of understood that we uh, that we got Griezmann and also Informant Zonzi into the team. So those are the two new players from the previous episode. I also gave you guys two more pairs uh, of players which you guys were able to vote on. We got pair one Lacazette and Ben Arfa or pair two Costa and Thiago. And it was going to be pair one. So those are the two players we're going to be adding to the team. And you can see right there, that's the, a pretty deadly attack in my opinion. We got a five-star skiller finally into the side as well. Something I uh, really wanted. And um, yeah, and Ben Arfa, we have a very good player, I think. So um, yeah, moving on will be the first game of this episode. We got up against basically a full French team with also Aurier as his right back. Because as you know, the French right backs in Ultimate Team aren't really that great. So uh, I can understand my opponent. But uh, we start off from kickoff. Uh, going on the attack immediately, of course, testing out that new striker, Lacazette. He got his first chance here, weak foot shot, easy save for the keeper. Then free kick from my opponent, which uh, wasn't really like that powerful, but my goalkeeper had some problems with it, but uh, luckily he did manage to save it. Then 43rd minute, just before halftime, it is Griezmann again, making it 1-0 for us, picking up the first 30k, and uh, he just keeps on scoring, just like he did in the previous episode. Really, really happy with him, actually, uh, in our team, because for me, it was the first time actually using him in Ultimate Team, so, um, yeah, it was kind of, a, kind of a risk going with him, because I never used him before. Anyway, continuing on, getting more and more chances, a very, very huge one there with uh, Iniesta, big save from his keeper. Now, from a free kick, we got a very bad touch with our midfielder on Zonzi. Not too sure what happened, but my opponent managed to go through. He got through here with Griezmann. We tackled him, and then we gave away a silly penalty, which, um, yeah, wasn't the smartest thing to do. I pressed B, gave away a penalty, and he converted it into a goal with Griezmann himself. So, um, yeah, he put the coin total back to zero, unfortunately enough. But uh, we played very, very well. As you probably noticed as well during halftime, we had most of the possession, and we created most of the chances, and we would end up doing the same thing in the second half. And that, of course, resulted into another goal for us. This time it is Lacazette getting his first goal. A nice shot into the bottom corner, making it 2-1. Then uh, in the 70th minute, Lacazette on the ball. A great fake shot to beat the defender. Then another goal for him uh, on his debut, scoring two goals. Very important goals because uh, we managed to get uh, up to 60k already. Then in the 90th minute, we managed to get ourselves another chance here. Cheeky Baku from Anzonzi. Nice ball roll there from Lacazette. Plays it on through to Iniesta. Goes to the first time chip shot with his weaker foot. But look at that for a clearance from, uh, from his defender. Really nice bicycle kick. Would have been amazing if it went in because then we would have gotten an extra 5k. Uh, because, of course, Iniesta was the man who then would have scored. But unfortunately, didn't go in. We get another chance here with the captain himself after some cheeky flicks. We didn't end up getting the penalty at the end. The referee decided to blow in his whistle. That's how the game ended. So uh, the first game for today ended up winning 3-1. to one. I felt I could have scored more goals because looking at the stats, we, uh, we were much better. Probably could have scored a few more goals as well. But mainly because I was maybe a bit too much skilling. I don't know. I, I kind of wasted some chances, but um, I was happy with the 60k. Hopefully uh, in the next game, we, uh, we of course, were able to play as good as we did in the first game and maybe score a few more goals. So, um, yeah, going into the next game, we go up against this team, a hybrid side, some League 1 players again, some Bundesliga and also some Premier League players into uh, into my opponent's team. And we start things off after 12 minutes, a nice one to pass with Lacazette and also Griezmann. Unfortunately, this shot completely went wide. I was uh, kind of surprised that it actually went that much wide. That 36 minutes, uh, I was actually hoping to play it on through to Griezmann, but then look at that first strike from Lacazette. I thought, you know what, I'm just going to hit it, and it actually went in top corner, no chance there for Butland. You all know he's very overpowered this year, and uh, a beautiful strike there again from Lacazette, his third goal already. Then uh, search from kickoff already into the second half, setting a lot of pressure on my opponent, and you can see within a minute we get the ball back. We go some really nice one-two pass, completely destroying his whole defense, and it is Antoine Griezmann again, making it 2-0. A beautiful outside foot finish with his uh, stronger foot, and um, yeah, again, we're up 60k. Then we move on 48th minute. Uh, again, Griezmann going through. His goalkeeper came out, which I saw on the radar. I was debating, should I go through? We ended up getting a free kick. Unfortunately, my opponent didn't get sent off. So, yeah, I maybe just should have went with the, with the chip shot a bit earlier. But, um, yeah, I can't really do much about it right now. Then we move on. 53rd minute, still very early in the second half. We actually get tackled from behind. I think it was just out of frustration for my opponent because uh, he did play good, actually. But... 
his chances just didn't go in for him. So uh, he actually ended up rage quitting because out of frustration, I think. And uh, that meant we get another 50k extra on top of the 60k we already had. You can see from the stats, it was very close. We had a bit more possession, but he had definitely had some chances in this game. So um, yeah, to finalize it all off, we have uh, 170k to spend on uh, on the next two players for uh, for the upcoming episode. And I was heavily debating which positions I should actually upgrade. So I decided to go with a CDM and a center back because then I would be able to like spend the most coins. So I went with uh, Modric and also uh, Sergio Ramos both from Real Madrid. Together they do cost 170k so that's pretty much all the coins we have. And then pair two is going to be Sergio Ramos again because there is no other uh, better and also more expensive center back in La Liga. And uh, also Matuidi. So um, yeah, that is pair two. It's kind of similar to uh, to each other, I know, but it was pretty much the only option for me to like spend most of the coins because otherwise we probably wouldn't even have spent 100k or something. So that's kind of a waste, I think. If I probably would have gone with maybe I don't know, like Thiago Silva or something, it goes for 40k. But anyway, let me know in the comments down below which pair I should go with. As always, I will be leaving uh, two pairs in the comments down below which you can vote on. And that's the way we're going to be deciding it for the next episode, which uh, should be out on, I think, Saturday. So, um, yeah, hopefully you guys are looking forward to it. That's going to be the end of this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then make sure to leave a like. It would be very much appreciated. So, I'd like to thank you very much for watching, and I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.